All right, why would you walk into this hornet's nest? Everything's going great in your relationship. Everything is fine in your marriage. There is no signs of infidelity whatsoever. So why would you try and test your man to see if he's messing around? Why, 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 why? Because then obviously everything isn't going isn't all peachy and isn't going swell because there's a seed of doubt. Well, don't you think that if you are testing it, there is something going on and you're like, uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, right? I I would think so. Like if you are 100% confident in your trust for your partner, there's absolutely no reason to ever create any sort of test. Maybe it's just a curiosity mm-hmm. thing. Like you've always wondered what your partner would do if they were faced with this kind of choice or situation. Like you know they're going to shut it down, but you want to know like how how like passionate they're going to get. Like, oh, I would never cheat on my woman. This has high backfire. <clears throat> Way high backfire right here. You actually wonder that, like, often, like, that's a common thought when you're talking to somebody, if they would, what, how they would react if they were tempted. <laughs> yeah, I want to see you shut down another woman. Man. I want to I wanna see you humble that girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking she can come from my man. <laughs> I say if things are going well, do not rock the boat in any way, shape, or form, because you just might get what you're looking for. Kristen's got the email. Dear Burt Show, I need to use your War of the Roses, but not for reasons of infidelity. I basically need to figure out how little my husband may actually care about me. Oh, I know that sounds pathetic. It does. It sounds it's just, no, it sounds sad. Oh. <laughs> this is not where I thought we were going with this at all. Okay. Me this is going to be sad. Basically, it boils down to the fact that I have been married for eight years and have never received anything for Valentine's Day. Not a single rose or a box of chocolates. I've only gotten, uh, I've only even gotten a card one time. He always has an excuse. He forgot or they're a waste of money, etc. I really love to know if he would still overlook me on Valentine's Day if he was reminded with an offer of free flowers. Mm. That way he can't say he forgot or that they are a waste of money. Will you help? Oh, it's a trap. Aww. It's a trap. Hey, I love it. <laughs> I you know, I'm it. over here so sad I mean, for her. I mean, I'm really sad for her and I I hope okay. So I hope that you have expressed, and while it may not seem fair to us and that you wish the person would just inherently know, that is not always the case. Sometimes you have to express your needs and not expect someone to read your mind and figure out what your needs are. So I hope there have been conversations in the eight years they've been married that that is important to you, like um, gifts of love are part of your love language and that's important to you and that it has bummed you out that for eight years you've never received flowers and that you would like to receive flowers. Now, upon hearing that, of course you want him to do it on his own. Like, you don't want to have to tell somebody to do that. But, you know, sometimes we can't pick and choose how we want things to to roll out. If you have expressed that to him and he still doesn't get you flowers or something... Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a bigger discussion that needs to be had. So the end game here isn't to catch him cheating. The end game here is, look, for years and years and years, and how many years were you talking about yesterday? Uh, we've been married eight years, and I've never received flowers for Valentine's Day. Nothing. and No present, no flowers, no nothing. Right? He just lets the day go. And I think yesterday you told us that he said that he either forgets the day or it's just not an important day for him. And it's a hallmark generated holiday. So he doesn't do anything at all, right? Uh, yeah. It's always it's a waste of money or... Um that he just forgot. But here someone is offering him a free thing and he has a choice to send it to me and I want to see if he if he does. Now, have you expressed to him over the years that this is something that is important to you, that it it would make you feel special and valued and seen if he would go out of his way a little bit and, I don't know, get you a bouquet of flowers? <laughs> I have, okay. and you know he he seems receptive at the time, but then it just it just never happens. It never comes. See, to, to me, it would just yeah. feel like here I've communicated this with you, this and year in and year out, you are ignoring me, and it becomes much more than a Valentine's Day uh, set of flowers or chocolate. It's it's much deeper for me than that. No, 100%. And would you say, like, this is how he was always throughout your relationship? Like, did it start after you guys got married? Or did you marry this guy knowing that this was just kind of his behavior? 
I it started more I think after we got married because before he was you know he was a little bit more attentive it was it, it was a little bit different I mean I know people change after marriage but it it just it just makes me feel bad that he doesn't take into account my feelings on this sure this reminds me of the scene in the breakup with Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn. And she's like, I want you mm. to want to do these things. Mm-hmm. And he's like, why would I want to do these things? And it's like, because you love me. Why would I want to make you happy? <laughs> All right. So you want to take it from here, Chris? Yes. So we did do War of the Roses, Leah, on your husband. Um, we sent a promotional email to the email address you provided us um, in the subject line, because we were very intentional about what our mission was here. And this was not to prove that he was cheating, just to prove that he can be thoughtful. Um, It says, make her Valentine's Day with a free, in all caps, bouquet. (laughs) You can't make it easier than that. Like that, it's literally in the subject line. In exchange, he's asked to share some promo codes for a percentage off a future order. And he's offered these flowers to choose from. One, long-stemmed love. Two dozen long-stemmed red roses. The quintessential bouquet for your one and only Valentine. That's the one he should immediately default to. My funny Valentine, burgundy rinoculus mixed with Mariposa carnations, a passionate gift for the woman who doesn't love the traditional. Then there is hello, sunshine. No Valentine, no problem. Brighten anyone's day with this bright and bold medley of sunflowers, orange roses, orange, orange roses, excuse me, crispidia, and mixed greenery gathered in a rustically elegant galvanized pail. And then lastly, sweet dreams. A surprising bouquet of king-sized candy treats, a tasty gift for Valentine's Day or any day. So we sent the first promotional email at 9.42 a.m., and Leah, he took no time. He placed an order at 10.10 a.m. This is very, very good news. He did not choose the flowers, but he did choose Sweet Dreams, a surprising bouquet of king-sized candy treats. Do you have a sweet tooth, Leah? I do not. <laughs> That's because he sent it to um, himself. No! Okay. This no! Okay. Damn. No. This is a first. He said delivery for Friday morning to, believe, <laughs> to be delivered to a business address. I'm assuming it's his place of employment. And the note on the card just says, yum. <laughs> like Y-U-M, yum? Yum. Just like- <laughs> he is literally sending himself chocolates oh. and not sending anything to his wife for Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, is it possible this thing still has to play out? Is it possible that in his... Very not romantic thinking. He sent that to himself, so he will turn around and he will give them to her rather than him having them delivered to her directly. Then why on the card would he just put yum? Because he had to put something or the order wouldn't go through. Okay. So this is his placeholder. Could have wrote like sweets for my sweet. Could have got the flowers instead of the actual candy. I- the guy loves himself. That, that's all I can take from this. He loves himself a treat. I, yes, he does. I'm really sorry, Leah. I, I, I would not say this is played out yet. Uh, this has, mm. this is so played out. The movie's over. The credits I, have run. I, I'm with you on that. I see the credits and you know, that little part at the end of the film that's like, why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh, it. <laughs> I, I think you got to wait. Until Valentine's Day, in case he, I mean, if I were him, I would have showered you with all of the gifts, but maybe he has something else planned. And so let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe homeboy just likes some candy bars and you've got something better that you're going to get in a week. Don't default to doomsday yet. Maybe these are for you. And like Cassie said, maybe he's coupling this with something else. So let's talk to you right after Valentine's Day and just confirm that we were all wrong. (laughs) <laughs> okay. You can gift him with divorce okay, papers. I, I, I will reserve judgment, but I have to say I'm really not that optimistic. Yeah. Okay. I'm all sorry. Right. So you'll be pleasantly surprised. That's all. That's a- all anything. I think. All right. We'll talk to you right after Valentine's Day, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, she's screwed. Mm. Yep. <laughs> the Bird Show.